Today on Pots and Trials, I'm going to be looking at hellebores and trimming back some of the old leathery leaves, which is brought to you with the support of Darlac and Cobra Garden. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trowels and it's lovely to be outside in the garden. It's not very good weather having said that. We had the frost, we've had the snow and then we've had some really wet weather and there's more to come. So the garden is very wet at the moment. I always think after snow it looks a bit tatty. Things have been flattened. Some of the perennials that were standing like crocosmias and grasses have now been flattened but the ground is really too wet to walk on so I'm, I'm just having a quick wander around to assess what I need to do in the next few weeks. And one thing I do want to talk about today though is hellebores because they're now starting to grow and very soon we're going to have lots of flowers. Lots of different types of hellebores and they're really good doers in the garden because they perform for several months of the year at this time of the year. One that's really good and I particularly like and I'm just going to carefully put my foot on this border is this one here. This is Helleborus foetidus, often known as the stinking hellebore and I don't know why because I, I don't think there's anything peculiar about the smell. It's got really attractive foliage which is evergreen so it's there all year round but then at this time of the year we start to get these lovely lime green flowers which are just opening and it will sell seed this was just one plant and as you can see I've now got a little clump there that Molly's uh, admiring so the other thing I do want to talk about though is the oriental hellebores hellebores orientalis it's had a bit of a name change I think it's now called hellebores hybridus because there's been lots of crosses done over the years and they've grouped them together and this is the one that is probably more familiar with people it's totally hard I've got a few clumps around the garden and there's a clump just here and if we look at it we can see that from the, the centre of the original clump we've now started to get these flowers are just poking through so this one is grown sort of in semi-shade under the trees and we can see these lovely strong flower stalks there with these really healthy buds that are going to be opening just a few weeks. I, I always say where we are in North Yorkshire from early February till the end of March the hellebores are at their best. So what I want to do today is just a bit of trimming. So I've got my secretaires here um, and this is last year's foliage. Um, as you can see it's starting to look a bit tatty, not particularly good so I'm literally going to cut it all off so I've got to be careful that I don't damage any of these new flower stalks so I'm just going to go with my secateurs and snip down. Molly will you come out the way please? Snip down. She does like to be involved, she's a bit of a keen gardener is Molly. Reads all the magazines and watches pots and trowels avidly. So I'm just going to snip off all of these old leaves as I say just being careful that I don't snip through any of those lovely flower buds and you might think it's a bit drastic and oh it's going to be cold and frosty but these are totally hardy so not only will it make this hellebore look so much better by the removal of these old leaves it, it means then that the the new growth will grow up through the center but it also removes the chance of leaf spot they can be prone to a fungal leaf spot um, on the old foliage so simply by removing it we're, we're getting rid of that and as you can see already just by taking off these old leaves it looks so so much better and we can then enjoy these lovely flowers that are going to grow up through the center now I've got all these old leaves around here these have all fallen off the trees I'm going to leave them uh, and I will put a mulch around it in the springtime but all those old leaves from the deciduous trees above will work the way and hellebore's like a woodlandy type of soil anyway so it's only going to improve the soil and make these grow much better but I've got one more thing I want to show you just over here Hellebores are quite promiscuous in the garden and as a result they will cross-pollinate and you'll get all different types of hellebores growing from self-sown seedlings and this time of the year very often around an established clump when you've cut it down like I have done here you'll find lots of these little seedlings and this is what hellebore seedlings look like here so these just two leaf stage but they've got that leathery look to them and I've just got my dibber here and just loosened a few out of the ground and as you can see they're, they're lovely strong seedlings that are growing 
just self-seeded all over the garden. So most of these, to be fair, will be hoed off when we clean through the borders in a week or two's time. But I like to save a few. So what I'm going to do is just, I've got a seed tray here with a bit of multi-purpose in, and I'm just going to dip in a few seedlings into some moist compost. I'm not doing them singly. I'm going to put them in pairs. It'll help them bulk up a little bit quicker like that. Uh, and then what I'll do with those when I've finished with them is they will, when I've filled this tray with them, and there's 12 in this tray here, I will give them another water. Uh, they don't need to go inside because they're used to being outside. So I'm just going to pop them in a cold frame or against the wall um, and keep them watered. And they will grow and form nice sort of plug plants by the end of this season. Then I can move them up into a bigger pot. And in two years, maybe three at the very most, I'll have good sized plants that will be flowering and it's a great way to spread them around the garden you'll get some new and interesting colours in fact all the hellebores in our garden here are what we brought from one original plant from our Nottinghamshire garden 12 years ago and they've just spread all over the place so don't waste all those seedlings pot some up and enjoy them in a year or two's time Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials and right on cue, the rain started. So it's back inside now, but thank you for watching and telling all your friends about us. And I'll be back again next week when I'm going to be with a scrubbing brush in the garden. See you then. Bye.